We're going to start setting up our inner plot or our shape file for the inner terrain of our course now. So let's go back into, um, well, let's look at our document. So this is the area of our document that we're going to cover. Okay, so we're going to be, and it says in here, yeah, if this needs to be a square plot. So as I go through here, I'm going to show you guys how to set this up as a square plot. If a square plot doesn't cover your course perfectly, you need to make it bigger. Okay, unfortunately, there's no way around that. Unity requires square terrains, so you have to create a square plot. There's no way around that. All right, so let's go into QGIS. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to remember or find out, if you don't remember, what units your LiDAR is measured in. So you go up to Project, Properties. You're going to go to your CRS tab, and down here you're going to see under units, it's either going to be meters or feet. If yours is in meters, you're going to come into your height map folder in your uh, your shape files or your uh, your LiDAR uh, packet of, of information that you should have downloaded earlier. Remember all the uh, LiDAR files? So in here, under my course, under height map, there's two Excel spreadsheets. One's called Max Min. The other one's called maximum feet. If yours is in feet, open up this one. So let me just open up that one first. And you're going to enter, when we do our plot, you're going to enter the size of your plot here in feet. It'll present it to you in feet inside of QGIS. If you did meters, if you have meters like I do, you're going to open up this other one. And let's take a look at what that one looks like. This one's a little simpler because we're going to work entirely in Unity and everything else in meters. So we'll open this up and we'll put meters in here. You might have to enable some scripting or allow editing in here and in, in, in the spreadsheet. That's fine. There'll be a button to do that. Um, but yes, so, so if meters open up that spreadsheet. So now I'm also going to rename this one. I'm going to do save as browse. And I'm going to save this one as oak mont underscore max min. Okay. So oh, let's go back to QGIS. Let's cancel out of here and let's go to our inner shape or inner shape uh, layer up here. And when I come up here, I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to come up here and hit this pencil, which is going to allow me to start editing that. And you're going to see now I have a pencil next to my inner, which means I'm editing it. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make sure that draw rectangular geometry for this particular icon. I'm going to click that. Now I've got a crosshair over here and I can start drawing my inner shape. Remember, these have to be square. Now what you're trying to accomplish here is make the smallest plot possible while covering your course. Now covering your course, your goal is to plot out any place a ball could land. Okay, so if this is my course roughly right here, I need to draw a square plot around this. So I'm going to start up here around this corner and I'm going to click and now I let go. I'm not dragging. I let go of my mouse button and I'm going to pull this over and I'm also going to hold down shift. When I hold down shift, it's going to force it to be square. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling this down and I'm making sure that I got the course covered at least side to side and top to bottom. And now I do and I'm going to click again. And you're going to see that it's giving me my width. Okay, so I got 1490 here by 1490. I'm actually going to change this. I'm going to round it up to 1500. You might just want to change yours. Actually, I'm going to change this to 1490 flat. Okay, because I'm trying to keep this as small as possible. So this is going to be 1490 by 1490. And I'm going to click OK and OK. Now I'm going to take that 1490, which is in meters. If yours was in feet, it'll show you in feet, and you're going to come here and you're going to enter it right here into the min max feet spreadsheet. But mine is in meters, so I'm going to go to the other one, min max, which was the meters one, and I'm going to put this in here as 1490. And I'm going to actually save this. Okay, now let's go back to QGIS. Now you'll see, and then it's hard to tell on here, but this isn't really centered over my course. So I'm going to come over here, highlight my inner, and I'm going to do this move feature button. So I'm going to click on that. Now I can come over here, click on that shape, and I can move it. Pretty cool. So now I'm going to center this over my course. 
right about there. Looks like I got a clubhouse sticking out here. So I'm going to make sure that that's covered. And now you can see here my plot. I'm pretty confident this is about as small as I'm going to get it, but still cover the hittable area of my golf course. Okay. Now, let's say I don't like this and I screwed up. Well, I can just come up here. What I do is I hit the toggle button again, discard. Now it's gone and I can do it all over again. So I'm just going to do this all over again really quick for you guys. Toggle. I'm going to create this uh, rectangular shape. I'm going to click up here in a corner. I'm going to drag it over, hold down shift. I'm going to click again. I'm going to change this to 1490, which is the shape that I entered into my spreadsheet. OK. OK. Move. Click again. Move this guy. Click. Now it's centered. This time I'm going to click the pencil and I'm going to hit save. All right. Now my inner is saved and I've got my inner plot defined.